I'm really lazy to create new relationship nowadays. And is it so bad that advertising and digital culture is killing true love and relationships? On our recent speaking club, we were talking about features and qualities of our partners that really make sense uh, for creating long-term relations. And I have a list <laughs> and I'm going to make this video related to the comments and ideas shared by my um, participants of this speaking club. If you are curious to learn more about the speaking club, please follow my Telegram channel. There is a link in the description to this video. and join and see what we are talking about, what are the announcements, what subjects we raised, and if you want to be part of it and really see real Ukrainian women that I represent, please welcome to join, because willing to have a wife from Ukraine and really having a wife from Ukraine is a journey uh, and it takes at least good time of learning and understanding what is so special about Ukrainian women that makes makes a lot of guys thousands of happily married guys all over the world matched by good marriage agencies uh, what makes them live together and what keeps them together so join my speaking clubs and learn by yourself so, because this is a proactive approach. When you want to create relationships, when you want to really make an effort, you make an effort. You aren't lazy about it. And um, my uh, members of the speaking club mentioned that nowadays people are lazy. They don't want to make an effort. It's just swiping. People are becoming uh, attractiveness shallow. Uh, they judge only a uh, book, uh, book only by the cover, which is, ah, I'm not attracted to her, so I'm not going to make any effort. Do, do you do this? Please write your comments. How do you judge women? Uh, because when I'm uh, suggesting matches, it goes deeper than just attractiveness, because attractiveness goes without saying when there is energy, drive, fun, uh, but if you're only attracted to very attractive ladies, that speaks about traumas and limiting beliefs, doesn't it? And having helped numerous guys to deal with those new limiting beliefs have brought them a different level of uh, family partners they are with now. So you wanna learn more? Come to my matchmaking uh, coaching session or talk to one of my managers or our coach and we will help. But now we're talking about qualities. So, first of all, relationship can be fun and shorter. Let's put it not fun because all the relationships are fun. But we divide like short term and non serious relationships and long term. And my members mentioned that if you want uh, short term, you use all types of apps and uh, meeting places, streets. But if you really had for long-term relationships, you are actually hiring a matchmaker or go to a reliable marriage agency. And then you have much higher chances to meet people who aren't uh, coming to entertain there, but are taking it seriously and are making conscious efforts, not only to meet each other, but also learn and study deeper their relationships themselves, meet new people and make it work. Because uh, investments into themselves, into relationships, really matter a lot. We do. We invest. Uh, men invest in their businesses. Men, men invest in mostly mm, in good clothes, some of them. Mm, uh, but education, most of them. Um, learning how to make more money, that's investment, right? But women invest in themselves first of all because looking beautiful being attractive being uh, emotionally stable knowing how to communicate to a man all that can be a, res a result of a really serious investment of a woman into her future and many women have mentioned that that they are using professional help of psych psychologists coaches mm, uh, therapists now 
personal growth mentors to be on the level where they are. So these are the ladies that are members of the Matchmaking Boutique Possible. But still, we are going back to laziness because people are mm, paying attention to what I've invested in myself. So look how beautiful I am, look how rich I am, but they don't pay attention what has other person invested. So the ego plays quite a big role in understanding what I want and what I have to offer, like who are you kind of thing, you know? So going uh, deeper into the matter, the goal of dating. Why do we date? Nowadays, just people date for fun, not to be lonely, to have somebody to have dinner with. <laughs> Mia mentioned that some women just date to have a man to pay for her dinner and they hated it completely hated that and we even said oh yeah he, he's dating just for entertainment it's a different woman every day and they were mentioning some of their like brands and said like, it's not boring right but we are chasing quantity and um, when there is a person that is really suggested by a matchmaker or a friend like we are like mm, I don't find that person attractive, I'm not sure. We are lazy to dig deeper and get to know the person and open up. We're afraid. That is also a big issue for many people that they have tried it before, they have been in relationship, but then they're scared because they expect things to be the same. They're making fast decisions and many men aren't even discussing, like he made a decision to part with this girl and done. Like, he doesn't even talk to her about it. He just makes a decision. So uh, in the modern world, we not only have all these um, pool of unlimited possibilities of meeting people all over the world included, um, not talking about people locally, but also we have learning skills. We have uh, possibilities to go deeper into ourselves. And when now I'm addressing that, if you are about to switch on this video, then it's exactly to the point. Because if you can't hear it, this is the pain that is above you. And you need to heal it. But how about going and doing it? So now, as a bonus for watching that long, I'm suggesting you the list of qualities that I'm actually having here. And women and men said that, first of all, they want a real person. If he's saying what he is, that he has to live the life what he is, uh, that he's talking about and saying about a woman, and the person, there is an expectation of the person to be intelligent, and women like intelligent men, and men like women to challenge them intellectually. Of course, respectful, respectful to others, respectful to children, respectful to parents. And that respect shows in your everyday communication. That respect shows about remembering birthdays, remembering uh, to visit a parent, remembering to take care of somebody. And the tone of communication with, with a dear person is also very, very important. So that's all about respect. Respect about being on time. Simply being on time when you've agreed that you're going to meet this woman or you're going to text her then, then just doing it. That's about respect. And women and men care about how mm, the partner is dealing with problems. Dealing with problems is um, predetermining whether you can basically make it together. Because if somebody is toxic when the problems appear, apparently it will be very complicated to make peace and build relationship. If somebody is guilting you all the time, rem rem reminding you of your fuck up, um, the ego will probably not uh, let you enter that relationship. People need to speak up their minds and in a relationship it's important uh, when you are in communication with a girl
go and suddenly you disappear because you put two and two together and you decide that hmm, she's not for me or even you cancel your trip because you just made some assumptions and conclusions without talking to her and say okay I'm done but you can't speak your mind because you didn't share what came to your mind with her and you didn't ask her do I understand it right and it could be completely different that she wanted to say because sometimes when you are planning a trip together the woman is putting things together and making herself very busy with things and her responding to you a little bit later than you were hoping to does not mean disrespect but just means that she's looking for a better time but she's a bad communicant and you need to address that and you need to raise this up and you need to take more time for getting to know each other definitely women want to feel safe around the man when when he is communicating safe safely when he is able to manage his anger manage his bad emotions manage his communication with her which means if there is something that really like tough or fun you can use sense of humor talking about it or you can um, you can give examples so managing things is really important to women as well as you're being caring you're being loving you're being a if you're being chivalrous that all goes on a long list of expectations from women uh, to men but same for men right and generally people are happy with somebody who's happy inside and happy inside to people means that regardless of what is happening the person keeps the optimism sticks to good values sticks to a positive uh, approach rather than you know criticizing pessimistic and bitter really somebody who wants to be in a relationship somebody who makes an effort to be in a relationship somebody who makes an effort to communicate how they want to be in a relationship and when you are in a relationship, creating these happy moments uh, with each other, create adrenaline, um, um, uh, raising activities, create and push um, a lot of um, a lot of uh, creativity into your relationship that later will become good history. So overall, men and women do not want to be bored, and those of them who make a, a, a conscious effort to um, to do things not to be bored they are actually in relationships uh, men who are chivalrous who are attentive got matched and that, but you know it's easy to be lazy <laughs> default system by our brain is always taking us back to the sofa doing nothing those women who are communicating, who are smiling, who are opening up, who are talking about things, they start relations. Those women who care about the man, who see his good features and who accept that he is not perfect, just simply the fact that he isn't perfect, those create relations. And do you want to be one of them? Well. I hear your answer. If you are still watching this video, probably it is yes. And if it is, then sign up to marriagebynatalie.com. You can see the website in the video description and come to my ideally personal consultation or use um, a step-by-step -step plan. Just come to a free meeting with a manager, then meet us and talk to us and then talk to our skilled professional matchmaker, and uh, uh, have all the questions answered about the woman you want to meet mm, and the women that you find attractive and and then you can come and talk to me because I will coach you I will ask tough questions I will be helping you 
uh, build your future strategy uh, um, using whatever um, power and um, assets that you have and getting you where you want to be regardless of your age you can be 33 years old or you can be uh, 63 years old there is a match for every guy here and we can find such a girl because being in matchmaking business for over 25 years we've seen all sorts of interesting people getting together why because they made a conscious effort and they were not only watching videos but they were coming to a matchmaker and they were getting the job done so welcome to the matchmaking boutique possible go to my telegram channel get announcements for my next speaking club and see you soon Let's create your love story because this is possible.